one of the most popular styles of hook for, for a Czech nymph is the slightly S-shaped hook, the caddis pupa style hook. Um, this one, the partridge uh, K2BY uh, caddis pupa hook is perfect for tying uh, Czech style flies, um, particularly free swimming caddis pupa patterns where naturally they have this curve and then curve up shape to their body. Uh, this particular fly, uh, the peach Czech nymph, uh, isn't as representi representational as other Czech nymphs, uh, but this is a great colour combination for those looking to target uh, particularly grayling, but it does work well for rainbow trout as well. So make sure that you add one or two uh, Czech nymphs with, that are tied on this style of hook because they're incredibly effective usually fished on a on a top dropper so not quite um, made to fish as close to the bottom as, as previous check nymphs but a great fly all the same as i say you'll see now the hook more pronounced that curve round and then straightening and slightly up turn at the end uh, thread wire oh, let's say thread wires we're going to lay our bed first so weighted slightly different to the previous fly. Um, it's got a lot less. Uh, we're not looking to build the same profile up that we were before. And we're just going to start our, our wind there. Don't worry about these first turns being open and we'll wind down there. Use your thumbnail to push them together. Move it back and lay a full hook's worth of lead down there. And that's it. That's our weight for this particular fly. And we'll take our thread. Uh, this time it's the Semperfly uh, Wax Silk in Shell Pink, which is a great grayling colour. It's also a very good bonefish colour uh, for any of you that dabble in a bit of saltwater fishing as well. So nice open turns over the lead wire, but not putting too much pressure on. Just make sure you get those two thread stoppers in place. We can come in, scissors, take out that tag end, and just put the thread crisscross on top. Now, take our thread back a little bit. Oh, I've just been asked whether I ever put any varnish or resin on my shell bats. Um, personally, I don't. Um, I know people do. Uh, I can see the benefit of putting it on the back. Uh, it certainly helps hold, um, hold those nylon ribs in place, uh, which can slip. Um, for the bulk of my flies, you'll see in previous videos, I actually use a thread, thread back, which doesn't slip to the same level. Uh, the other benefit with using resin on the back um, is it creates a sort of translucent bubble on the top uh, so it can be an effective way of, of tying particularly for clear water fishing um, so certainly do do it it's just not something that I do too often uh, so here we have it we've got our thread base down and now we're going to add in our back material which true to form with all the previous flies it's the uh, Semperfly ultra thin skin uh, but this time in pink a nice clear pink color and I'm going to cut a point in it so you'll see roughly centered arrow shape lay it against the hook and allow it to uh, to rotate into position. Uh, 
and then for this particular fly I take my thread all the way to the front and we're going to dub our fly in reverse. So it's a bit tricky the first few times you do it to get your um, to get your scale right on how big a thorax you want and so forth. So materials, I've um, got the super fine Semperfly dry fly dubbing, and I've taken this interesting one here, which is the gray brown color. Um, I find that it's there's less brown in it. It's slightly more, um, it's slightly redder uh, than a brown, but it's perfect for adding a nice dark, dark thorax area to this particular fly. So start with a quite thin section, but allow it to build up some bulk. Remember, we don't have the we don't have the bulk created by the lead wire in this particular fly. So we have to build it a bit more with our own, with our own dubbing. Then for this one, I'm going to add in a, a in a hot spot, which is the Hens Micro Flash number 17. Um, very popular color amongst grayling fishermen and definitely one that you should have a packet lying around at least. Just a small section here. We just want four or five turns. It's just enough to add in a little bit of color. Just that. And now we're going to take our material, one that I've had for a very long time, as you can tell by the hairline packaging. It's quite outdated, but this is Hairline's Crystal Dub. In, and it's the color is called cinnamon caddis. And it's a lovely cinnamony color uh, with a slight fleck in it of um, just like a, a glister, just a fine glister dub. And the nice thing, it's a, a nice natural dubbing with a lot of underfur, so it really binds down tightly. And Essentially, we want to try and continue at the same thickness that we just have been, but gradually tapering, tapering down as we go. If you ever have a little bit too much dubbing, you can just tease it apart and continue to wrap all the way down. All right. As we were saying about ribbing, uh, most of my flies these days are rib with with the thread, which is why I dub dub this particular pattern in reverse. So bring your back forward and lay the first thread turn. Then another one, just opening out your segment slightly as you go. And what I like to try and do is get one segment before the hot spot and one just after. Again, I don't think the fish mind too much, but I just prefer my flies to look that way. And then bind down with your thread, bring it back and place a few locking turns in front never doing anything like this. You don't want to be cutting out a material and have your thread slip off the end. So just a little half hitch in place. Trim the back out. Shorten my thread off a little and just neaten off that head area with a few thread turns. Lengthen it off. in with the whip finish tool. So the benefit of using the shell pink um, thread is it almost adds another segment into your fly. You can, if you want, 
tease out some of the fibres. If I were teasing out any fibres, I would focus on uh, doing the hot spot area because they're the ones that you want fish to, to focus in on. But there you have it, the peach check nymph tied on that slightly different shape of hook, but definitely one that should also be within a, within a team of check nymphs if you were fishing check style.